Ah, people, welcome back to our next video. All right, so I see that SteamOS is available to download for all the handhelds that are out right now, like Legion Go, Rogue Ally X, and even the Rogue Ally. So I just want to make a video showing you guys how to install the SteamOS on these systems, right? But before I do that, there is a couple disclaimer. So when you first install it, the controllers might not be working. Your TDP, changing your TDP might not be working as well. And also your RGB lights might not be working. But there is a fix for that. Two more things that you're going to need for this um, installation. You're going to need a USB-C, any type of USB-C. Then you might going to need a wireless keyboard as well. Because once you get into SteamOS, you got to be able to control it and install all the necessary stuff you need for your controller, your RGB, and your TDP to work, right? One more thing as well before I get into it. You want to make sure... You have a dangle like one of these so you can connect multiple stuff to your device right because this device only has one usb-c or whatever device you're using might only have one or two so you need a dangle so you could be able to plug it in make sure it's getting power while you're doing this installation and also get to plug in your keyboard and your usb one more disclaimer once you install this it will wipe your device so windows all your games, everything will be off your device. You have to re-download your games and Windows will be gone. You'd have to flash back Windows back onto your device, right? So you can't run or dual boot SteamOS and Windows at the same time. So keep that in mind. All right, so once you get everything situated, everything that you need, next thing I want you guys to do, so now I open up your web browser. The link for this software and the image that you need will be in the description box down below. So just scroll down and you'll see it. So now when you come here, you got to download the SteamOS image, right? So come right here and then you want to download this one right here. Steam Deck Repair 2025 0320 1000.3.a.0 image zip, right? Already downloaded. Make sure you hit it and download it, right? After you want to come to this web website, come to Belina Erkner. When you come here, you want to hit download and it's going to bring you all the way to the bottom and you want to download the windows version right once you hit that install it then you should be good so as you can see i already got this in my system already then i already got my image as well which is right here once you got everything downloaded you want to boot up uh belina etcher the software make sure that's up then you take your usb you want to plug it in there you go my drive is plugged in you want to make sure and confirm that it's plugged in and the computer is detecting it they want to go flash from file they want to go wherever you download the steamos image all right so i moved it to my desktop so it's easy to find i should have put it in downloads but i didn't I went to my desktop so if you put it in your downloads folder let's go there so it's easy to find guys all right so it's right here so now you want to press target you want to select your usb stick which is right here hit that and then hit flash and now it's just going to start flashing the image to your usb stick and just give it a minute guys all right so once it's finished flashing so now we got to disable secure boot so now you gotta turn your device off don't want it to update right now so let me just first turn it off all right so when you boot up back the system when it gets to the second logo or when it's about to get to the second logo start holding on your volume up button and then you will get the menu it could go in and change the secure boot so when you get here you want to go down to enter setup when you're here you want to press y then you want to click the top right bumper go over the security then you want to go down to secure boot and when you say secure boot control, hit that and you want to disable this. Once you disable, you want to save it guys. Save and exit. All right, so once you're back up and running, you want to turn it off again. It's the second boot, shut down. All right, so once again, when you turn it on, when you get to the second logo, you're going to start holding the volume up button. All right, so same thing as before. Once you turn it off, boot it back up. On the second Asus logo, your old volume up, and then you get the screen again. So now it's a little bit different. You're gonna see your USB drives now, and you wanna to go to the first partition. 
whatever you name the USB, you should see it right here. And you want to go to the first one. Then you hit A. And it's going to boot up. All right, so once you get here, you're going to see re-image Steam Deck. Pressing that. Wait a few seconds. Then it's going to tell you that all your data will be deleted off of this device. And once you're ready, just hit proceed. And it's also saying it can be undone. So hit proceed. All right, so once it's done, we'll confirm that everything is good. And then you just hit proceed again, and then the device should reboot. All right, so once you get to this screen, now you just gotta set it up, choose your language, then you go down to your time zone, connect to your Wi Fi, and then it's gonna install the necessary stuff that you need for steam us to run properly right so let's give it a few minutes and then you should be up and running in a few minutes guys all right so now when you get to the screen some people it hangs here and it's not like going through so now we've got to reinstall steam os one more time right so it's not a long issue you just gotta turn it off hold the power button turn off your device once it's off turn it back on and then when you get to the second logo you hold volume up All right, so once you get here, also you gotta make sure your USB is, is still plugged in. As you can see, mine is still plugged in because we're going back into the recovery file, right? So you hit enter. Once you get here, you click on your USB and then you're gonna boot back up into it. So now, when you get back to this screen, you gotta press reinstall SteamOS, which is this one right here. Hit reinstall, proceed, and now you let us do this thing again. All right, so now that it's done, gotta hit proceed. So um, before I do that, sometimes your screen might go black because it's trying to download whatever it's downloading to get SteamOS up and running. So just keep pressing the button to keep it awake. If it do go dark, just press the button to wake it up. So now that it's done, hit proceed. And it's gonna continue doing this thing, guys. All right, so now that we're here, now we gotta sign in. Before we do that, we gotta connect to Wi-Fi. Click on the top right here on the Wi-Fi button. Now you go to your Wi-Fi. All right, so now just got to log in to your Steam account. So now we got SteamOS officially running this device, right? So now we just got to get some stuff installed to get everything to work properly, all right? Like a controller, TDP, change the TDP, and stuff like that, right? All right, so if you notice, some of the buttons are not working. Like if I'm pressing this button, nothing is working. Only this button works, I'm trying to install lost their scaling these buttons work this one doesn't work but this one work this works so we're going to fix that right now guys don't worry about it so first thing you want to do is go to desktop mode so you can press the power button right here the xbox button then you come to power switch to desktop mode so you want to make sure you have your keyboard and stuff connected to your device so then at the bottom right here you want to open up settings once you open up settings, you want to scroll all the way down to users. Then here, you want to hit change password. And you want to make up a password, right? Then you press leave unchanged. So now you close that out. So now you want to open the application launcher. You want to go to all applications. Then you're going to scroll down to console. So you're looking for console right here. Open it up. All right, so once you got this open, need you guys to type sudo space system ctl space enable space input plumber. Click enter. All right, so now you enter your password and your password will be invisible, guys. All right, so enter it. Then you press enter. Then a new line will appear. Then you press up. Then you type hyphen suspend. So then you're going to press up again. Then you're going to delete everything all the way back and stop at CTL. Then you hit space, start, space, input, plumber. 
Then you press enter again. All right, so I had to do this a few times and this is how you want it to look. The first line when you just open up the console, uh, sudo system CTL enable input plumber. Then you enter and then you put your password in. As I said before, it will be invisible so you won't see it. Then you press enter. Then you also press up after that and then you will see the sudo system CTL enable input plumber comes back and then you gotta just put hyphen suspend then you press enter then you press up one more time and then you want to delete back all the way back to and stop at ctl right then you press space and put start input plumber and then enter and then after that you should be good we just got to go to firefox and finish the setup guys so you just have to press on the firefox and then press install and then now you're seeing it's installing guys once that's done let's try and open it again then you should be good so now when you get to firefox you just want to type in decky loader then the second one just want to open up this one right here open that up so then you hit download top right once it's done just want to open it up go to extract it then it's going to ask you for a password, right? So that's the same password that you created with sudo, right? So let's put the password in, hit okay. So now when you get here, you wanna click on the pre-release um, version, right? So which is the second one right here. Hit select, then you hit okay, guys. And now it's gonna install. Now it's done, you just hit okay. And now you can just close this out, go back to Firefox. Then you wanna type U, you sync get up RGB. Then you want to click on the first one. And you want to scroll all the way to the bottom, guys. Then you're going to see this one step installation right here. Then you want to copy this right here. So now you got to go back to the console and you got to paste it in here back in the console. Now, if you close this, I suggest you redo all the commands again and get to this part so you could input this command. So when you come back here, you want to press Control, Shift, and V to paste. Then you press Enter. All right, so after that, that's RGB. Let's install. So now you go back to Firefox. And then you want to search for Simple Decky TDP. So it should be the first one right here. And then you're going to scroll down until you find the Simple Install section, all right? All right, so once you get here, this is it right here. Just got to copy this. Let's minimize that again. And then come in here again and control shift V to paste and then enter. All right. So once that's done, let's go return to gaming mode. And now the button should be working, right? I press this button right here. So you see now it's actually working. It brings up, turn it off, mess around with anything you want in here. Just close this. If you press this one, brings up this right here as well. And then now you see the plugin, which is Decky. If you go right here with the U, now you can control your LED lights. Turn it off. On. Then you can change the colors if you want, right? All right, so now if you go back, you will see Simple Deck TDP, right? If you come in here, you can set your minimum TDP, your maximum TDP, all the way up to 40. But you don't want to overclock it, so you can leave it around 30. And then you can mess around with anything you want in here, guys. Put all the way up to like 30. So yeah, that's that's basically it. It's not that hard. Only thing is when you're doing the the console codes, you gotta make sure you're putting that putting everything in properly. Make sure your password is valid. Try not to use numbers. Try and just stick with um letters and keep it simple with the password because you can't really see it when you're typing it in the console, right? But that's basically it. I had to do the console part like two or three times. Because the first time my password, I was think I put the wrong password, something like that. But just make sure you remember that password when you're doing it. And then you should be up and running right, guys. So that's basically it. Also, I got most of these, most of the instruction guide from Deck Wizard. So I want to give them a shout out on that as well. This is where I know how to do most of the stuff that I did just now in this video. And also from some Google research and from other YouTubers online, right? But big shout out to Decky 
for getting this done for us and showing us how to do it right so i'm just relaying the message back to you guys i didn't come up with this so i'm just letting you guys know um thanks tuning in if you have any questions drop a comment down below in the comment section and just let me know what you think about this if you're using this if you're trying to update to it or or if you're just going to stick with just bazai you get me so thanks tuning in guys remember what i always say health is wealth peace and love i'm out guys thanks tuning in